The Art of English Pronunciation, Mastering Mouth and Tongue Positioning. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our ongoing series on English pronunciation and accent reduction. Today, we're diving deep into a very critical aspect of pronunciation, mouth and tongue positioning. When we speak, our mouth and tongue work together to shape the sounds. If we don't position them correctly, it could lead to misunderstandings. Let's start our exciting journey to master these crucial elements. The mouth and tongue positioning are like the hidden artists behind the beautiful painting of our speech. For every sound in English, there's a specific way your tongue, lips, and jaw should be positioned. Understanding these positions will help you greatly in achieving a clear and natural English accent. So, let's get started. Different sounds require different mouth positions. When it comes to English pronunciation, we'll mainly focus on two positions, open and closed. 1. Open position. Some sounds require us to open our mouths wide, like the A in cat. Try it out. Notice how your jaw drops down and your mouth is wide open? 2. Closed position. On the other hand, for some sounds, our mouths remain almost closed. For instance, the I sound in bit. Here, your jaw barely moves and your mouth stays relatively closed. Keep practicing these positions with different sounds and observe the changes in your mouth shape. The position of your tongue is equally essential. Let's explore the front, back, high, and low positions. 1. Front. For sounds like th, in, thin, your tongue should touch the back of your upper teeth. 2. Back. The g sound in go requires you to position your tongue at the back of your mouth. 3. High. When saying the ee, -E, in, c, your tongue is high in your mouth, close to the roof. 4. Low. Conversely, for the A in cat, your tongue is low in your mouth. These are the four basic positions. Remember, some sounds might require your tongue to be in an intermediate position. This might seem overwhelming initially, but with practice, it'll become second nature. Try saying a word slowly breaking it down into sounds, and pay attention to how your mouth and tongue move. Once you're comfortable with individual sounds, start practicing with sentences. Remember, practice makes perfect. And that's it for today's video on mouth and tongue positioning for English pronunciation. It's a lot to take in, but don't worry, take your time, practice at your own pace, and you'll notice the improvement. Keep practicing and soon you'll master the art of English pronunciation. Until our next video, keep learning and stay motivated.